This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place for you to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that specific code card to complete your deck or just to open up some packs, they have it all. From Darkness of Blaze, Champions Pads, you name it. Look at the huge variety that they offer. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. And this is for European players to purchase and sell cards all across Europe. And uh, they have lots of good stuff on here. You can uh, actually uh, open up an account and start selling yourself or buy a fantastic amount of products from people all across Europe. So definitely check out both of my sponsors, PotownStore.com as well as CardMarket. And as a little addition, if you go to Potown Store, you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5 percent of your next order so definitely do so you'll help me out a ton what's up youtube it's zapdos tcg here and welcome back to our tcg battle video on my channel today it's time for us to be checking out the counter welder deck this is a deck that marco sinfuentes put on the map thanks to the chill tournament uh, the chill tcg tournament and uh, it's a very nice deck uh, we just rely on uh, volcanion with flare starter the classic welders but we have a little bit of a twist we have a uh, melodic thrown in here for the senti scorch matchup uh, easy taking three prize cards just aurora energy welder and boom you hit for weakness getting the exact number one 160 because uh, Santa Scorch has a 3 retreat cost and then you just two, uh, you actually one shot it uh, thanks to weakness. Same for Rhyperior, you're gonna try to uh, use Flare Starter onto Rhyperior and then the following turn you just try to go with an Aurora Energy and one shot Eternatus V Max. In the late game we have Dub Wool being able to KO a lot of threats and uh, maximum damage output is 270, believe it or not. Very funky Dub Wool right here. Torku V can discard energies against uh, Dragapult, Eternatus, all those uh, kind of decks that rely on uh, energies that need more of them maybe adp zation as well and then uh, victini one shot zation at, at all then we have vika vault having a great way to have a response against control archetypes or babel cephalon that over relies on item cards and for the rest it's just uh, using lieutenant surge in the late game if somebody gets knocked out you get welder you get research or you get welder and bosses orders and you just win the game it's a checkmate deck because this counters almost anything uh, in the meta right now the heat run gx is also nice uh, if you get more and more fire engines in play that hot burn gx can also take a one hit ko so hopefully you guys are uh, excited for this video if you are be sure to let me know by destroying that like button and without further ado let's go with counter welder box we're up against the darkness deck. Darkness deck with an Eternatus coin. I would be amazed if it is not an Eternatus deck. That means right Pierre can just go for the go with the flow. We won the coin flip. We're gonna go second. We need to use Flare Starter or Welder. That's how we go. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, looking pretty menacing. Right Pierre V in the active slot. Maybe we just use Quick Ball. I actually want to use Welder onto right Pierre and then use Switch on Volcanion and go from there. Uh, which is actually a, a great approach because you don't want to have your Rhyperior V in the active slot because if you if it's stranded, the opponent can then just uh, rely on something else. Okay, he relies on Eternus V Max in the active slot. He can attach. We unfortunately cannot attach so many energies simultaneously. So there's a Sableye coming along. Weakness to Grass, kind of irrelevant. We are not playing Grass because yeah, who who plays Grass nowadays with all that Welder action in the format? What we need to do is like we weld onto right barrier, we quick ball or use communication, find full canyon, use the Dene, try to find a switch as well as a giant heart and go from there. Zigzagoon Madness, he's going to ping one damage counter onto us and uh, we'll see if he is going to be able to get his... Oh, no energy on the first turn, ladies and gentlemen, that's wonderful news. We're going to go with communication first, we're going to get that Milotic back in the deck because this is not uh, the way we go about this. Let's get ourselves Volcanion, we still have Quick Ball to go along with that, let's go with Welder onto the right period. Ta -da -da -da. And look, look at that, all these bosses orders. Um, we're gonna attach one energy. Actually, we can attach to the right period here because, yeah, he's not gonna be able to get an attack of unless he relies on Turbo Patch. We should be okay. Quick Ball. There we go. We can also like use bosses orders, but I think I will just go for the Danny. Like we could have used boss orders if we relied on the uh, Crobat, but seeing as we do have the upper hand over here, it is totally fine. This is an awesome hand we can work with. We're just gonna pass it out. Next turn, 
We have, of course, access to the boss doors thanks to Eldigo, so we can Eldigo's Aurora Energy and just checkmate. There we go. If he relies on like switches to the bench or something. We'll see if he finds a switch card. There's a scoop up net. He gets the Hoopa back. He uses communication. Now we're gonna see Crobat V. He probably will need to run to the active uh, to the bench slot, otherwise, he will be done for anyhow. Okay, there's the turn VMAX, giving ourselves two freaking prize cards. Actually, three freaking prize cards. The VMAX right here. So we didn't need Volcano. Okay, the hammer is pretty, pretty crucial. We do still have Welder in hand, so it is irrelevant. Okay, scoop up. He can even like Welder. Uh, okay, use it again. Scoop up Net Madness. Does he still have access to supporters? Dark City, okay. Marnie, no! No, 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 no. Our fantastic lead is gone. Our Aurora energies are on the bottom of the deck. Oh boy. Crushing hammer again. Okay, this is a hammer eternity list. We still we still can get our stuff going. So we have this. We will rely on we don't need switch, so we are gonna use this quick ball. LD goes. Okay. LD goes. Finding herself. Welder. Then we only need one fire energy, so we're gonna only get out one. We're gonna draw with the Crobat first. Where is the Aurora energy? Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Lots of ways, okay. Weldering one energy, only one. Let's go. There is the Aurora energy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the Milotic not necessary in this matchup, and this is ridiculous. Boom! Hey, <laughs> Turtles, bye. Nice knowing ya. Rhyperior on the move. We got another Aurora Energy, it's fine, as well as a double. The good news is we still have access to the Dene. There's still one left in the deck, we know for sure, and we still have access to uh, like a one more boss's order. So if he decides to like set this Eternatus up, we just need to like dig deeply for that boss's orders, or just set up something else that can take care of our Eternatus. Maybe setting up another right here. They just concede. That is how powerful this counter welder box is. You see Eternatus, you win. You see Santa scores, you win. That's how this deck functions. Okay, we're gonna be playing another game with this funky, funky deck. Hopefully you guys are ready for some more action. If you are, be sure to let me know your excitement down below in the comments section. All right, who is our opponent up next? So Eternatus, that's another win. What are we up against up next? Lightning and Grass. Hmm, what is that? I haven't seen that since Tapu Bulu came along. We'll see. The Eternus matchup was like so ridiculous. Okay, we lost the coin flip. It was like Eternus with hammers and that did not even phase us because we have Welder. Okay, we're gonna start off with Torkoal. Torkoal is gonna be able to use Combustion Pillar if there's a, a Fire Engine on top of the deck 180 instantly. So that can donk whatever's in the active position if he just passes. If he doesn't have Quick Ball, doesn't have a basic. Aurora Energy on the Dene. What? <laughs> that could actually be the case, that could be the case, okay. How to go about this? Is there a, a, a uh, yeah, there's a Rhyperior. Rhyperior can make quick work of this fella, but we don't have a Pokemon. Don't have the, the correct Pokemon right here. What to do? Uh, yeah, we don't have a Pokemon, so we're gonna have to rely on Giant Heart. We do have Fire Crystals already, so we're gonna actually get rid of, yeah. The Poke Gear. We're getting one energy, only one, because maybe we can dunk him. You never know. There's seven energies left in the deck, and that's how he goes. Welder Chime on the Torkoal. <laughs> we'll see what that brings. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, there's Fire Crystal, there's Reset Stamp. I don't know what I'm up against, but let's get rid of this. We do have like communication ready, so at least that is awesome. Let's get rid of the stamp for now. Uh, let's go. Combustion Pillar. Is it the fire energy? <laughs> it is not. It is Vikavolt going down the drain. Oh boy. Does he still have an answer or is he just gonna scoop it out? We have a Torkoal here ready to discard some energies. We still uh, don't know. Energy? He can, he can use the Tingly Return GX. Okay. What? A water type energy? Uh, is he gonna go with, I don't know, Supporter? Does he have a Supporter? What is in his hand? Five cards. Five freaking cards. In our defense, we can still welder on here, find a communication, find a Danny to get ourselves out of this nasty, nasty situation. 
Is that gonna be the game? He continually returns for gate. <laughs> oh, people on the versus ladder, you uh, amuse me so much. Let's try out another one. So yeah, imagine if we would have gotten that fire energy on top of the deck, that, that then it would have been one-shotted. I uh, don't specifically like attaching Aurora energies onto Torkoal V or any fire Pokemon for that matter. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? There were seven fire energies in there. I think my deck was like 40 cards left. So statistically it was like like a 20% chance of us getting that KO on the Dene. We don't run Oranguru with Primate Wisdom. Could have been <laughs> easier to do that, we'll see. We're up against Nivaldus. Who are you? What are you playing? Come on, Tails never fails. Yeah, we go second, of course. I know like going first has its benefits, but this is better, okay. <laughs> Rhyperion the active, come on. Show our Salve Eternatus and we will be smiling. ADP in the active slot could also be nice. It is Zacian. Ah, that's not ADP in the active position, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to try. Maybe we can like quick ball. If we top deck Welder, we can like use Welder onto Victini V and then knock this guy out instantly. It's also a nice approach here. Victini V. Okay, just an attachment to the Zacian. Just no quick ball. Just use the yeah, use the Intrepid Sword. Yeah, we have Fryer Crystal, so I'm I'm gonna go with heavy. Heavy to Dene. Okay, first things first. There's a Milotic. Milotic only slaps 110, so away with Milotic. Let's get ourselves to Dene. We have Heatran GX. Also a way we can get this fella to be knocked out. How many welders? Three welders and three Poke Gears. Okay, how many Crobats? Two Crobats, okay. Fine. We're gonna put this guy to a low hand size first. Because, like, he already had so many cards in hand, and that's not what you want to see. So, the Dene time. We still have access to Weller, we still have access to Giant Heart. Okay. Giant Heart activated. <laughs> Giant Heart activated. We're gonna go with Quick Ball and get rid of this. What can we grab? We can grab ourselves Victini V. Victini freaking V. Or the Heatran GX. I think Heatran GX in that hand is probably better. Yeah, we'll get the Heatran up and rolling. Get into Heatran. We're gonna quick ball away this. Finding ourselves. Classic Crobat. Ta da! And I think we will just use Giant Heart. Ah, Giant Heart is gonna have to wait. We're gonna go with Crobat first, drawing five freaking cards. Welder, where you at? No welder in sight. What to do about this scenario? Yeah, my Lodic will have to go. We only slapped 210 with this fella. What do we do against Zacian? What do we do? We also don't have a switch card. We already used the Dene, we've already used Crobat, so on that department we are not looking good. We are not looking good at all. I think we will need another the Dene to actually do something here. And we will just attach the rainbow energy over here, I guess. Yeah, let's get rid of these. I'm only, I'm only gonna get like one energy, right? How many fire crystals are in our deck? Two of them. Okay, I'll take both of them. We're gonna be attaching an energy onto the Rhyperior. We can then switch to the Heatran afterwards, and Rhyperior also can get rid of. An energy. Yeah, if we draw into Welder, that's also gonna be busted. So I'm actually going to go with this scenario. Boss's Order is also good. There's already one in the discard as well as this fella. Uh yeah, it's gonna be have it's gonna be have to go with this. Alright. Let's go. Because we need welder anyhow, and we have the Danny in hand, so we'll see. If we draw into welder or Poke Gear, we can get rid of energies on the opponent. We can also, like, if we have a switch, use Heatran. There is the classic ADP. We can also set up a lot of energy so we can go with Hot Burn GX. If he has energy switch, he can use the Ultra Creation GX instantly. If he doesn't, we're gonna get rid of it thanks to Drill Run. Hopefully that will be the case. Just need to find a welder. Classic welder. Okay, there's the Dene. If he uses the Dene and Research, probably will find the energy switch. I'm pretty positive that's gonna be the case. 
Ah, uh, maybe Torkoal could have been a way out. Like we attach to the Torkoal and then get rid of two energy simultaneously. That would have been way better, I think. Yeah, now that I think about it, that would have been way better. Yeah. Okay, crushing hammer. Okay, there's nothing we can do with that hammer going along. There's a Caldeo. Okay, there's no way we can get the victory here. He has a Caldeo, very interesting, interestingly enough, for the Senta Scourge matchup. And we were gonna get we're gonna get dominated over here by ADP Zation because yeah, the crushing hammers are like busted. If only the crushing hammer didn't land successfully. Oh boy. Also, we can get rid of like a water type energy so he cannot use ultimate rate. There's already a saucer coming down. Scary. Yeah, use your altered creation GX. Busted. That is very busted. Okay, we have a Victini. Victini is pretty good. Yeah, there's not a lot we can do here. So it's the Danny time again. Come on, Welder. Okay, we have the Welder, so at least we have that going for us. Let's get rid of the Pokey here. Two energies right over here. We still have Switch, so that's awesome. So we're gonna use Quick Ball here and getting rid of this. Torkoal is very busted though. Like we slap 160 with a Milotic. Torkoal could be a nice approach as well. All right, all right, let's go. Welder time. Two energies going down on that. All right, Perrier. We have the Aurora energy, funny enough. Yeah, he only needs to take a couple of KO, so. Fire Crystal, getting all the energies. Let's go. Attachment over there, getting rid of a fire energy. And let's go with the Drill Run. When actually 80. We're actually gonna get rid of the water energy, not to the metal type, otherwise he can use like metal saucer. And with this scenario, we can actually step to 90 now on the ADP, unless he decides to like retreat into something else. Torgul would have been better, but with the crushing hammer, it would have not mattered at all. So double crushing hammers here. I wonder how many he's playing. This guy just needs to find a saucer. The Dene. Just needs to find that saucer and a switch card. How many switch cards in his discard pal? Zero! Okay. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, another hammer? What? Okay, Torkoal is the way to go if we're able to set, an, set one up, but we all, we all have two prizes on our bench. No room anymore, Oranguru, hopefully he whiffs. How many supporters in his discard? One research, Primate Wisdom. How many saucers in his discard pile? Two. Come on, two saucers prized. Is that too much to ask? Let's just let him be stuck in the act. That would be fantastic for us. Come on. What do we get? Do, 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 do. A switch card. Okay, Viridian Forest. Intrepid Sword. Fantastic. That is very, 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 very good. All right. So we have the Fire Crystal right here. One, two, three. We're going to be getting rid of... Yeah, I wonder if we should do that. We're going to be using Welder. Two energies onto the Victini V. Ta -ta -da -da. Next up, we're gonna get one energy on this guy. Going to be using Viridian Forest. I don't think we'll need Viridian Forest in a matchup like this, although boss's orders are nice. Probably going to be attacking with Zation anyhow, otherwise he's gonna be losing the game. All the rest we one shot anyhow, and we have two switches in hand. Not gonna be using Milotic, might as well get rid of it. Another energy. We have a research. Another energy is better for Victini, by the way. Or, yeah, just gonna be attaching that next turn anyhow. Let's go! The Heavy Rock Artillery! Triperior taking down the ADP. We're gonna be taking two prize cards for that, and that's a Welder. That Welder is definitely gonna be coming in handy. Two energies as well, and a double. Double for the late game. Busted. So what we need to do, he needs to actually KO two Pokemon, but seeing as he only has one Zacian set up, he still needs to attach, he still needs to use Metal Saucer, we just need to find a uh, reset stamp as in the discard pile. This could still be scary if he is able to set up another Zation. Zation, energy on there, Saucers, he, can, he still has two Saucers left. If they are priced, it will be busted, but if he draws them from the prize cards, that's also bad. 
230 HP. <laughs> it's perfect for Brave Blade. Brave Blade takes down any non uh, yeah, non V Max Pokemon for sure, except for like Tag Team GXs. But V Pokemon in general go down thanks to that amazing Brave Blade. Maybe you can slap in like one big charm for this kind of a matchup, but this doesn't matter since the Ultra Creation GX buffs it up to 260. So whatever is in the path of Azation, it goes down. Three hammers. We still have access to Victini. Victini is gonna be able to take this guy down. Oh, no problems asked. Uh, this guy has a two retreat cost, so maybe we can use Vikavolt Bosses or this paralyzing bolt mechanics. How many energies in is this car, pal? Okay, sticking down the Victini. The Victini is going down. Okay, he has five energies in here. Okay, Brave Blade. No uh, energies on that Zacian just yet. If we overlap this with the giant heart, he's gonna have a more difficult time finding his metal type energies. Yeah, he does take three prize cards, so the chance of him getting metal saucers and all that magical stuff is insanely high right now. Mm, yeah, we're just gonna use this, switch over to the heat ran. Vikavolt or Double. Double uh, is not being able to do the job correctly. So for now, let's just switch over to Heatran. Slapping one, two, three energies right there. Ta -ta. Slapping down a Vikavolt with Item Lock Madness. Yeah, if, if this Heatran goes down, we lose automatically anyhow. So slapping down a Vikavolt. Item block 190. Yeah. If we. Yeah, right here, we can one shot anything as well. It's fine. We're gonna be weldering onto this guy. Just need to find the boss afterwards. Yeah. Don't need this anymore. Yeah, the boss is in the prize cards. Fine. This. Aurora energy on that fella. So we can actually go for item lock as well at one point. Giant hard, more energies. Yeah, we have Lieutenant Search Code in there as well, which is funny. Steaming Stomp, 130, knocked out. So we just need to hope he doesn't have the nuts. He needs to get, yeah, he has the air balloon on Keldeo. So he has so many cards in hand. Our recent stamp, well, well, oh, we have the boss's order. So this is now or never. Keldeo in the active slot, he just needs to get the KO. He needs two saucers and an attach of turn. In his discard pal, there are five metal type energies in there. A typical ADPization list runs about eight metal energies. That leaves him only with three metal energies left. There could be some prized energy, okay. Oh boy, does he have the saucers to back up his powerful ADPization deck? This is suspenseful, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very excited. Either way, I'm happy to showcase this very funky archetype that uh, Marco Sinfuentes put on the map. Look at my bench, all two prizers. Okay, 17 cards left in the deck. There's two Dedanis on the field. That means he can only rely on like a research and crowbat, I think. Okay, just resorting to research instantly. There's the saucer, that's the, the first saucer. Does he have a second one to back it up? Is it in his prize cards? Is it in the rest of his deck? Or is he just insanely lucky to have everything instantly? He might think maybe he's looking for a reset stamp. Could also be a way out in this funky scenario. Saucer number two. <laughs> oh my god. What are the chances? 10 cards left in the deck. 3 cards in his uh, prize cards. He has all of his saucers. That was a very good game. Well played, there's, there's nothing we can say about that. Sometimes they just have the insane luck of the draw. If it didn't go that way, we would have won with this funky Counter Welder deck. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about Counter Welder. Have you tried it out for yourself? Have you slapped some Eternatus with it? Let me know. Also, 
I am going to be giving you guys another coupon code for Card Market. Cardmarket.com is for European players. This is a five euro coupon code on the top of my head and uh, definitely uh, let me know if you are the person that claimed this code. It's a, a code card for one person. I do this almost in every video. So if you don't get it today, maybe you'll get it tomorrow. And uh, this uh, is gonna be a nice way you can purchase some cards all across Europe. Also check out my other sponsor, PoTownStore.com for your TCG online needs. Maybe you're looking for a double uh, to put in your deck. Maybe you're looking for some Zations. They have everything up on stock. So definitely check those out. PoTownStore.com. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button. Subscribe for more content. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video very, very shortly. I'm out. Peace.